Hello and welcome to, uh, well I suppose it's the last film really in the year 11 uh, acids and bases topic except for the one where we go through a few little questions. This one's about acid reactions and predicting the products of them. It's not supposed to be equation writing practice so by the end of this film you're probably not going to be better at writing equations. Okay, I'm assuming you're already able to write equations or if you're not you're able to go and find the film where it's covered. Okay, this is just about looking at a reaction and saying what the products are going to be and then from there we should be able to go and write an equation. Okay, acid plus base, first of all the most common type of acid base reaction I suppose. Acid plus base makes salt and water. Let's just imagine that we did this with a hydrogen chloride or a solution of hydrogen chloride in water, hydrochloric acid, and maybe mixed it with sodium hydroxide. Okay, what would my salt be called? Well, it would have sodium in it, it would have the metal from the base, and it would have the negative ion from the acid. So sodium chloride and water. Okay, if I was writing an equation for this in an exam, I'd obviously have to split the things up into ions that I should split up into ions, so that's any AQs. And then I should cancel out any spectator ions until I'm left with a balanced ionic equation. But as I say, we are not practicing that here. Acid plus carbonate. Just like the last reaction in the sense that it produces a salt and water, we're also going to produce carbon dioxide this time. Let's take, I don't know, sulfuric acid and perhaps um, sodium carbonate. I've chosen sodium again, I, that's, maybe I shouldn't have done, but anyway, we're going to take the metal from the carbonate, sodium. We're going to combine it with the negative ion from the acid. So sodium sulfate would be my salt here, and then plus water plus carbon dioxide. Balance the equation, get rid of the spectator ions. Acid plus hydrogen carbonate, you don't really see these all that often, but they are almost exactly like the acid plus carbonate reactions in that they produce a salt and water and carbon dioxide. Uh, let's choose as my acid ethanoic acid, okay, and maybe potassium hydrogen carbonate. So knowing the formula of the hydrogen carbonate ion, I suppose, is the hardest thing about this. If if you already know how to do carbonate reactions because everything else is the same. Okay, so here's our metal. Here's our negative ion from the acid. So potassium ethanoate would be our salt in this case. And then plus water plus carbon dioxide. So we make the salt. That's the difficult bit, I suppose. Well, I suppose the difficult bit is writing the equation. But in terms of identifying the products, the hardest part is naming the salt. Moving on. This one I've kind of left till, well, almost last, because it's not really an acid-base reaction. Acids and metals will react to produce a salt and hydrogen, naming the salt very similar to before, okay? So let's say I took zinc and reacted it with nitric acid, okay? Then I would form zinc, or the metal from my metal, and uh, the negative ion from the acid, okay? So zinc nitrate would be the name of the salt, and we'd also form hydrogen. This is a redox reaction, okay? Because we're not transferring H+, okay? The H+, ions are just turning into H2. So there isn't an H+, acceptor in this reaction. It's actually a redox reaction, which is why maybe I shouldn't have even covered it in this film, but it does have an acid in it, so people often end up learning it as an acid reaction. Okay, and finally... Base plus non-metal oxide. Now, some people approach this as if it's kind of a totally new type of reaction that they haven't seen before. But perhaps if you can treat the non-metal oxide as being like some kind of acid that you already know, then maybe this will be a little bit easier for you. Okay. So here are some non-metal oxides. What we're going to do is we're going to say that carbon dioxide is like carbonic acid and that sulfur trioxide is like sulfuric acid and nitrogen dioxide is like nitric acid. Why is that useful? Well because then this just becomes an acid plus base makes salt and water. So I'm going to choose a base here, let's say calcium hydroxide, okay, and know that acid plus base makes salt and water where the salt has the metal from the base and the negative ion from the acid. So I'd make calcium carbonate, calcium sulfate, calcium nitrate with those three 
non-metal oxides and I'd also make water. Okay, so really that is, I suppose, looks different when you see it, base plus non-metal oxide, but if you can spot that non-metal oxides are acids and that they're like acids that you've dealt with before, then this becomes quite a lot easier. Okay, that's about it. That's all the acid reactions we need to be able to cover in year 11, years 11 and 12. Um, year 12, I suppose, deals with it in a little bit more detail, where you start looking at um, the, the reactions of salts in water, but that will be covered as a separate film in year 12. So just for now, make sure you remember those kinds of reaction. If you can't write the equations, if you don't feel confident doing that, then please go back and watch the film about equation writing, because that is such an important skill in the WACE exams. Okay? Any questions, get some help. Um, and as far as the year 11s go, you've just got one more film, and that's with a few questions from the topic that you might sort of encounter.